It was just over a decade ago that Simmer Betty founded Soul Recycling with a dream of sending zero waste to landfills. While his business has grown, his mission remains the same with plenty of work to do to get more Canadians on board. Uh, joining us now is Simmer Betty, founder of Soul Recycling. Thanks for being here again. We had a really great conversation yeah. last time. It got me thinking about what I can do as an individual, but also kind of where we're at as a collective. Because, you know, individuals together can make a big impact. But sometimes we have to be reminded about that impact and yeah. what we can do. So tell me, where are we at in Ontario in terms of diverting from landfill through recycling? Yeah, yeah. So right now, our two biggest solutions that we have in Canada is bearing or burning, the two Bs. Mm. And at Soul Recycling, we present the three Rs, right, which we should be practicing more, which is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Um, and the reason really I'm here today, and thank you for having me on again, is to talk about the Brampton Incineration Plant oh. and their expansion. They're trying to quadruple their output from 400 tons of burning garbage to 1,600 tons of burning garbage. And if you guys remember in 95, we actually banned the expansion of incinerations due to the emissions being emitted, mm. right? So that's what I'm here and concerned about, saying, hey, there's, an, there's other solutions to this. We don't need to bury or burn. So we don't need to poison our air and we don't need to poison our land. Yeah, a lot. You know, a lot of people do think, okay, we, we stop, stop shipping it off to Michigan. We stop putting it in a degree, and they go, oh, this is this is a good thing. You're just you're just burning it all. But but what kind of emissions is that giving off, and why why is that a problem? Yeah, so it's the idea of incineration is waste to energy. Yeah. Sounds great, right? But there's still emissions being uh, released, which is CO2. Right. So every ton of of Roughly speaking, every ton of waste burnt is a ton of CO2 being released. So we're breathing that in. So the residents close to that incineration plant in Brampton will be breathing this poison in. Okay, a really good point. Uh, I feel, I, I try to separate as much as I can in terms of, of, of recycling, filling that bin. Why do you feel that we, we can do even more and how do we get that conversation going? <sighs> How do we get this conversation going is a good question. It's, we have to change the narrative. Right now, we're asking big waste for the solution for waste. Yeah. That's like asking big tobacco the cure of cancer. Oh, right? So we got to ch change it from the top level where get recyclers in. We're two, we're two separate industries. Waste and recycling don't go together. Recycling is diverting from landfill where the waste companies are owners of landfills. Right, so people have to get that in mind and change their way of even looking at waste. Look at waste as a resource, because remember, we pay for this material, mm -hmm. right? So it's a resource, it's called urban mining is what we do. So this material is from the land, and now we're urban mining it out of the garbage. Okay, so you're back here after our last conversation. Yeah. Obviously, there's still more work to do. What do you see as the immediate and long-term future for what you're doing? Because you're maybe going head-to-head -head with different ideas how to get rid of waste, and, and you want to be the dominant player for good reason. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, we are leading the way in Canada currently, um, and what we're trying to do is really get us up to speed with other countries. Like, Europe as a whole is way ahead of us. Right, you're and, saying Denmark. Yeah. yeah, Denmark is zero waste to land. Zero landfill. waste. Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> So, and they, it's not something new. So I'm not talking about new things here. I'm just trying to get us up to speed, saying, hey, this problem has been solved already. Why aren't we doing it how others have solved it? All right, so recycling, Summer Betty. Thank you so thank much you. for being here. And always, yeah. you know, getting me mindful that we can yeah. head to zero waste.